Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your name? Sergio Liuan Riz Leiva. And can you? Sergio Liuan Riz Leiva. Sergio Liuan Riz Ruiz Leiva. Can you wait for interpretation? Sergio Liuan Ruiz Leiva. Can you spell your middle name? L I U V A N. L I U V A N. Sergio, were you tubing with a group of people, including Nikolai, on July 30, 2022? Yes. Are you in that? Are you on that image somewhere? Sí. Yes. Where? Del short amarillo. I have the yellow shorts. And white shirt and white bucket hat. Sí. Yes. Do you remember a time when you were tubing when Ariel's phone got lost? Yes. And um, do you remember a discussion about looking for the phone or just leaving it? Sí, de si en un momento decidieron de que no se iba a buscar el teléfono, que no querían porque la seguridad iba a pagar el teléfono. Yes, and at that point, at some point, they they decided they didn't have to look for the phone because the insurance would pay for the phone. Did Nikolai go look for the phone? Sí. Yes. After he, do you remember how long? Strike that. At some point after he went to look for the phone, did you hear Sandy yell something about he's in trouble? No. No. Did something catch your attention downriver? Bueno, el, el grupo de personas. Well, there was a group of people there. <coughs> and what about it caught your attention? Alrededor del de Nick. They were around Nick. Was there a time you saw Nick down in the water? No, porque es que, es que había muchas personas. Estaba mucho, muy grande el grupo. No, because there were many people. There, it was a large group. Was, did you ever remember seeing Nick interacting with a blonde girl? No. No. Can we have exhibit 45? <laughs> Thank you.
Sergio, do you remember telling Recuerdos? police there was a girl, if I'm not mistaken, with a black leotard? Sí. Yes. Who said, go, 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 go to Nick? Yo la vi cuando ella estaba en el grupo que estaba en el grupo alrededor, porque era la que más se distinguía entre ellos por el color del leotar negro. I saw her when she was around that group because uh, she was the easier to identify because of the black leotard. Pero en sí sí estaba bien un poco alejado porque del grupo de, de, del, del grupo porque no me moví de mi de mi recámara. But I was um, far away from that group. I, I just didn't move from my inner tube. And do you remember telling police that Nick pushed her? I don't remember that. Can I approach? Yes. For the record, yep. Judge, I handed the witness Exhibit 45 on page 15. Sergio, do you see this transcript? Yes. And about the middle of the page, do you see where you said the woman yelled, go, 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 and then Nick goes and pushes her? Yes, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> and you were, you were far away, you said? Yes. Judge, I'm going to pull up some screenshots or frames. I'm going to start with 2872. I'll let you know. I'll let the clerk know when we're ready. And we're going to zoom in on the top left. Sergio, is that you in the yep. top left? Yes. And it, if you know, is that about where you were when you were watching what was happening? I was uh, right by my inner tube. Do you remember telling police that you walked about five meters from your group and then someone told you to stop? Mi hermana me dijo que no me moviera cuando me iba a mover. Mi hermana me dijo que no que no me moviera hacia allá abajo, que no fuera. Por eso me regresé a mi recámara. When I uh, was going to move, my sister told me not to move. That she said, "Don't go to the other side." Just uh, and that's why I returned to my inner tube. Do you remember? Did you see the girl in the blacks, the blonde girl in the black swimsuit? Did you see her fall or stumble backwards when Nick pushed her? No, I don't remember. And did you... Did you actually see if it was a push or a punch? Objection. It's been asked and answered. Sustained. Well, can we approach? Yes.
I'm sorry, I'll uh, change my ruling. Overruled, you may ask the question. Do you remember if it was actually a push or if it was a punch or something else that Nick did to the blonde woman? No, I don't remember that. And Sergio, do you see on page 15? I'll direct you. So I asked you about the paragraph on the middle. Remember that? Same. Now, the next, yes. the next paragraph where you're describing what happened, do you see that? See? Yes. And you said, you described that it was after Nick got out of the water, and that's when the girl said, go, 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 and he pushed her. Do you see that? Oh, see. Oh, yes. And then below that, you reiterate that it was after she said, go, 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 that Nick pushed her. Do you see that? See? Yes. Can you turn to page 16? On page 16, you described that she was wearing a black leotard, and you clarified that that was a black one-piece swimsuit. Yes. And then you, further down, you describe again seeing her hearing her say, go, 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 and he pushed her. Do you see that? See? Yes. And from your memory, when you're telling this to police, you thought that was the last thing that happened, and then Nick walked back to your group. See? Yes. <clears throat> and you thought he was down in the water before the girl said, go, 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 and he pushed her. Right? Yes. <clears throat> and Sergio, have you ever seen the video from this incident? No. And so you're, you were trying to recount what happened to the police as best you could remember? Yes. Yes, at that time. Did it happen fast? Yep. Yep. Was it difficult to remember in what order things happened? Yo recuerdo fue que en el momento que se perdió el teléfono, eh, Rosy se puso en una esquina a buscar el móvil en, en la orilla. What I remember is that at the moment when we lost the telephone, Rosy started looking for the phone by the edge of the river. Eh, y yo me quedé ahí en la balsa, lo cual le decían de que dejara el teléfono, que ya la aseguranza lo paraba, lo pagaba. Yeah, I stayed there because they were talking about it and they said, just leave it, the insurance will pay for it. Mm -hmm. Y ya no eh, recuerdo más nada cuando el compañero Nick cogió la, el snorkel y se tiró al, 
a bolsear, a buscar el teléfono. And I don't remember anything else except uh, that Nick took the snorkel and started diving in there to look for the phone. Y ya, y ya me fui. Entonces cuando miro hacia abajo, ya veo el grupo de personas. Yeah. And then I left. And then that's when I saw on the other side the group of people. That's what I remember. So you, you may have forgotten a lot of what you remembered then. Can you repeat that, please? You, you can see the transcript where you describe seeing more to law enforcement. I didn't see, I, I just heard things. But you can see in the transcript you told police multiple times that when she yelled, go, 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 Nick pushed her. Objection, <clears throat> Because I heard the voice of a woman, I, I am not sure if it was her. You described her as a blonde woman in a black one-piece swimsuit? Yes. And I see it here, yeah. And when you described seeing Nick down in the water... You, you described that you believed they, they must have hit him or you thought they must have hit him because he was down in the water. Do you remember that? Or do you, did you say that to law enforcement? No. No. I didn't, I never said that. No. No. Do you remember ever seeing anyone hit Nick? No. When Nick came back, did Nick do? You, did Nick come back to the group at some point? Yes. And as he was coming back, did you see people that were injured? Yes, I saw them. Yes. Did you see blood? Bueno, de mi, de en el lugar que estaba, yo solamente veía la, la, la mano de la muchachita y sí, tenía como sangre ahí, pero no se distinguía bien. From the place where I was, I could see the girl with her hand over here and you could see blood, yes. But you couldn't uh, distinguish it that clearly. Porque era la que le estaba pidiendo ayuda a... She was the one asking for help to call 911. She was asking uh, my sister, my sister to call. And I didn't want to uh, continue looking. I just turned around. Turned away from the injured person you saw? So I, so I didn't see any of those things, yes. Just a moment, Your Honor. Señor, acérquese al micrófono. Usted para no ver nada de él. Para no ver nada de lo que estaba pasando. So that I didn't see what was happening. Puede acercar el micrófono a usted. Vale. It was something that was hard to watch or see. Era algo difícil de ver. Yes. When Nick came back, did you hear him say anything? No. No. Did you hear him say they took my knife? Neti le preguntó y y eso le dijo y yo le pregunté a Neti que qué había dicho y dije que sí que fue eso lo que dijo. Neti asked asked him and I did ask. 
uh, what he said, what he, she said. Can you? Que Neti le preguntó que qué había sucedido y entonces él dijo que le habían quitado la navaja. Neti asked him what happened and he said that they had taken the knife away. Y yo le pregunté a Neti qué dijo Nick. So, and then I asked Neti, y, what did Nick say? Y me dijo que le habían quitado la navaja y ya no se habló más nada en el... And recurso. she said that they had taken away his knife and we didn't talk about it anymore. Did you see Nick saying anything or hear him talking anymore after that? No. No. What was Nick like? What did he look like? How was he acting? Vino pálido cuando se acercó a nosotros. He looked pale when he got close to us. Y con los ojos grandes. And his eyes wide open. Y se sentó y ya no habló más nada. He just sat there and he didn't talk anymore. Do you remember when he came back and got back to the, your group? him putting on his hat and jacket? Yes. And do you remember telling police you didn't look at Nick too much because you didn't dare to look at him? I didn't dare, but uh, he was also in the back of the inner tube. Yo. I was in the back. So you, can you turn to page Do you see where you said? Yes. I didn't look at him because the truth is I didn't dare to look at him. See? Yes. Do you remember how long you guys stayed at the sandbar? No. No. I don't remember that. I don't remember the time. Do you remember seeing police come? Sé que Eri fue a buscarla porque Eri fue a buscarla. I know that Eric went looking for them. Eric went to a la policía a guiarlo. Eric went to look for the police and guide them. After Eric came back to your group, did your group leave? Yes. What was the, what do you remember of the time when you guys were tubing to the exit? Can 
Can you repeat that, please? What can you describe what what it was like? What you remember from tubing to the exit? Compañero Nietzsche se puso la gorra, la chaqueta y ya, más no se habló más nada. No well, se habló Nick, nada. Nick put on his uh, hat and then his jacket and we didn't talk about anything else. Y ya, no se habló más nada porque estaba todo el mundo callado. Nobody sí. talked, everyone, everyone was quiet. I don't have anything else. Mr. Trophacy? Sir, you, do you remember giving an interview to the police on August 3rd of 2022? Yes, they went to my home. And was your memory of what happened better in August of 2022, or is it better today? Well, it was better back then. I'm very nervous now. Okay, so when you spoke to the police in August, on August 3rd, <coughs> about five days or four days after this happened, fair to say your memory is better of those events than it is right now? Yes. And when you were interviewed by the police, uh, there was a Spanish-speaking officer that was talking to you, is that right? Yes. And... You tried to answer that officer's questions as truthfully as possible. Is that right? Saying. Yes. And you said that was at your house? Saying. Yes. Uh, a less, was it less stressful than it is here today? Saying. <coughs> yes. And... That officer had asked you questions about what happened on, on uh, July 30th of 2022. Say sí. Yes. I want to ask you if I can uh, about that date and maybe some of the things you answered uh, when you were speaking to the officer, okay? Say sí. Yes. So... I'm going to start with this. You knew that Nick Mew had a knife with him that day because you saw him fixing his shoe or his sandal. Is that right? Same. Yes. So before any of this incident happened, he had been using that knife to fix something, right? Same. Yes. And... You knew that Mr. Mew or Nick was um, looking for a phone that your group had lost. Is that true? Say. Yes. And you also knew that Nick, on that day, Mr. Mew, was with your group, and your group included his wife. Is that right? Say. Yes. Can you look at that picture right there, sir? Mm -hmm. You had mentioned you're in this picture, correct? Is it okay, Judge, if I approach? Yes. Same. Same. And you see Mr. Mew here? Yes. Come. You see Mr. Mew here? Say. Yes. This is the, the, the shirt that he's got on. Is the same shirt you saw him wearing at the end of the day, right? Okay. And this is yes. And this picture is taken before you guys head down the river. Is that right? Okay. Yes. And he's wearing sunglasses in this picture, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, 
is it fair to say that when he got off the river, he looked the same or close to the same as he did when he got on the river? Yes. Now, you know that Nick is looking for this phone that had been lost, that was Ariel's phone, right? Yes. And you were also aware that he had brought snorkeling gear and goggles with him on that day. Is that true? Yes. You had seen him on that day snorkeling around the areas where you guys were tubing. Is that right? Sí, al principio, sí, en la mañana. Yes, at the beginning, that was the case, in the morning. And when you speak to the officer about the specific incident, meaning what had happened, you recall telling that officer that you saw a group of people surrounding Nick. Can you repeat the question, please? Sure. You told the officer on August 3rd of 2022, when you were being asked about what you remember, that you had remembered that they were surrounding Nick. Say, yes. You told this officer that they were falling on him. Is that right? Your Honor, the interpreter needs a repetition. I'm sorry. The interpreter needs a repetition. You told the officer that you observed those people falling on him. Is that right? Yes, when they pushed him. You told the officers that they put Nick in the middle of them. Is that right? Sí, lo tenían ahí, no sé, el bulto de gente, y se veía que estaba adentro el compañero. Yes, they had him there. It, it was a group of people, and you could see that um, they had... Um, um, ¿Compañero? My friend there. Could you see Nick with the group around him? Could you see him? Y usted lo... No, no lo podía ver. Solamente el grupo, el grupo. No, I couldn't see him. I could just see the group. Sí, es solo el grupo. Just the group. You told the police that they hit him, meaning they hit him. Is that right? Sí, cuando lo empujaron al principio que él se acercó que no. Se, se acercó y cuando les ya que lo empujaron y ya eh, ahí lo rodearon. Yes, when he had close, then they pushed him and then they surrounded him. And you remember the blonde girl with the black suit on, is that true? Sí. No la recuerdo muy bien, pero sí, tengo más o menos la... I don't remember her very well. No, no la recuerdo. I don't rem but I have an idea. I don't remember her. Well, do you remember telling the police that you heard the blonde girl telling Nick, go, go, go? Mm -hmm. sí. Yes, yes. You told the police that Nick 
pushed her. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Did you see the rest of what happened? Nope. Nope. You see Nick walking back to your group, though. Is that right? Sí, cuando venía, lo traía. Hey. Yes, when he was coming, yes, I saw. And you described him to police as being white, pale, and scared. Is that right? Okay. Yes. You describe him as having wide or open eyes. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Yes. And at one point, I think you said that Tatiana told you, don't go over there. Is that true? Say it, my hermana. Yes, my sister. So Nick, to your knowledge, what you know, Nick was by himself against that other group. Is that right? Sí. Yes. No one, you said to the police, as far as you know, no one in your group went over to help him. Is that right? No, nadie se movió. Solamente Ariel al, al final que bajó y Eri a ver qué lo que era, estaba pasando. No, nobody moved. And only at the end, Ariel and Eric went over there to see what was happening. But that was after it was over. Is that right? Please repeat. Sure. When Ariel and Eric went over, the incident had ended. Is that right? Sí. Yes. So in terms of assistance or help, Mr. Mew was by himself. Nick was by himself. Sí. Yes. Did it appear to you that, <coughs> Nick, that Nick was in shock when he came back to you? Bueno, eh, impactado. Se ve impactado, sí, no sé. Eh, yo digo shock porque es mi manera de expresarme, ¿ves? pero de, impactado puede ser. Sí, yes, he, he looked in shock. I said in shock, and, or uh, uh, something had impacted him. Yes, in shock. Do you remember waiting some time? Before your group moved on down the river after the incident. ¿Puedes repetir, por favor? Can you repeat, please? Do you remember there being some time that your group waited when Nick came back before going back down the river. No, no recuerdo. Cuando él regresó, ya el Neti dijo rápido, vámonos. Fue lo que dijeron. No, I don't remember that. When Neti came back, when he, when he came back, Neti said, let's go. Do you remember telling the police that you waited until you were told to leave the area. Do you remember that? Oh. 
No, no recuerdo, pero si, si le dije eso, debe ser sí. No, I don't remember, but if I said that, it must be right. You were asked by Attorney Anderson about a statement that you said that you didn't dare look at Nick. Do you remember that? Sí. Yes. He wasn't threatening toward you, right? No, no. No, no. He wasn't being aggressive or angry toward you, right? No. No. You said the group was pretty quiet once you got back? Sí. Yes. So when you said that you didn't want to look at him, it wasn't out of fear of him, right? No, no. No, no. It was because everyone was in shock? Oh, y sí, de, no sabíamos qué había pasado en sí y no sabía cómo preguntar. Bueno, sí, todo el shock, sí. Yes, Accidente. we didn't know what had, had happened, uh, so we were in shock, yes. We didn't know about anything of the, that incident. Who's Natty? Ernesto. Uh, I'm referring to Ernesto. I call him like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Judge, I didn't hear that. Could the answer be repeated? I call him uh, Natty, but I'm referring to Ernesto. How do you know Ernesto? Desde de Cuba. From the time I was in Cuba. And I, friends? Sí, somos vecinos de allá de Cuba. Yes, we were neighbors in Cuba. How long have you known Ernesto? Bueno, él me vio crecer a mí, como lo que dice. He, well, he basically, we grew up together. Close friends? Sí. Yes. How long have you know, had you known Nikolai Mew? Bueno, cuando yo llegué aquí a este país, que, que Nicole, Mew trabajó con Neti. When I came to this country, I met Nick y lo Mew. Conocí. He worked with Neti. Y lo conocí en casa de Neti. So I met him at uh, Neti's house. So, what, is Nick a friend too? Nick es amigo de usted también. Mm, solo conocido, nos reuníamos una vez o dos veces al año así. We were acquaintances. We met uh, one, twice a year. Are Ernesto and Nick good friends? Sí, yes, they are. You defense asked if Nick looked like he was in shock. Do you remember that? Sí. Yes. What you told police was, I don't know if he was scared or worried. que no se veía, eh, se veía cuando una persona estaba preocupada en el semblante de la persona, 
se ve cuando está preocupada o because you see somebody when that person is worried you can see in his face obviously you didn't know what he's thinking at that time no no you don't know if he's in shock or worried about what just happened no no. no, solo la cara que se le veía blanca, pálida y con los ojos grandes así ya más nada. No, I just saw he, he was white, he was pale, his eyes wide open. And I just want to clarify. Defense asked you about the interview with the Spanish speaking detective on August 3rd at your house. ¿Sí? Yes. That transcript I was asking you questions about, that's from that interview, right? Yes. And I just want to make sure I understand what you saw. You saw Nick, I think on cross, you said... You saw Nick push the blonde girl and Nick, someone pushed Nick. Did you see anything else besides that that you remember? No. No. You said in your interview you didn't dare look at Nick and defense asked if that was because the group was in shock. Do you remember that? Yes, I was nervous. You didn't say about anyone else that you didn't dare look at them, right? No, no, dije, solamente hablé de mí, no, no, no sé no. lo que piensa la demás persona. No, I only talked about me, I don't, I didn't know what the other people were thinking. When Nick came back, did you see any injuries on him? No, no, me fijé, no. No, I didn't notice. Nothing else. Mr. Tropicy? Sir, I'm going to just ask you, you were just asked about what you saw. And you told police that you saw Mr. Mew get hit, correct? Okay. Yes. You saw people surrounding him. Yo vi el, el grupo de personas, no, no es que, no sé si lo estaban rodeando, no, solamente vi el grupo de personas. I saw the group of people. I don't know if they were surrounding him. I saw a group of people. You agree that you told police they were surrounding him, though, right? ¿Puedes repetir, por favor? Can you repeat that, please? When you spoke to the Spanish interpreter, when you spoke to the Spanish-speaking officer, you told that officer that you observed people surrounding him. Correct? Yes. You told that officer that they, those people jumped on him. Correct? Yes. And you told them that you saw Nick on the ground. Correct? Yes, when they pushed him. Thank you, Mr. Ruiz. Leva, you may step down.